Pretty why sure we're we live. Why are we? Why are there two pictures? We are live. Cause we're doubly cute. <laughs> Speak for yourself. We're double trouble. You left. <laughs> you left your glasses on. Oh, I did. Well, I want to see. Okay, let me make sure. Let me just make Check sure we're it. live, live, live. We're live. Hey, everybody. So everybody saw me chomping on my mitt. Hi, everybody. It's well. Weird. At least it's, you don't. Oh, well, that's the that's the delayed picture. We don't need that. It is Wednesday, so we're going to talk about stuff. Let's do it. <laughs> we are going to show you. Oh, we had a lot did, of. If, if you did, did you read the instruction, the description? I wonder if people are watching. We were going to make them guess. If they didn't read the Hi, description. Australia. Then they might guess what we're doing. There's Peggy Garman. Hi, Peggy. Um, Hi, Kim. So what was the, what would, they're supposed to guess? I was going to make them guess because. I thought you said both, in the description. I did, but oh, maybe people didn't read it. <laughs> oh, fine. Tell them what we're doing. <laughs> Take all the fun out of it. I'm trying to have fun here. <laughs> oh, hi, Lee. Southern California. All right. So Spain. We have Spain. Oh, good. Welcome, Alabama. Spain. All right. So um, we get a lot of requests for a whole lot of different ideas, which we love. We absolutely love, but we have a working list that we're working from. And one of the um, things that we got asked a number of times were what was that they wanted to see just red wigs. Yep. And so that's what we're going to do today. I mean, and I wear red every now and then, not very often. This one over here, she never wears red. Yeah, it doesn't look good on me. I it know it doesn't does. look good. But, that, I mean, that's okay. It's about just showing the styles. It's not about, It does look good. A lot know. of people think, I don't look good in red, you know. But the thing is, there are so many different shades and undertones of red that most people can pull off a red. You just have to find the right one. Yeah. Well, so, like, what I have on is Epic. And I have it on in GL3032, which is dark copper. So it's more copper-based, um, which I'm better in a cooler tone. And what Misty has on is Rain and Auburn Sugar R, and that's got a more violet base to it. So it's considered a cooler red than the copper. One. Yeah, I mean, I don't do well in coppers um, because I have really cool eyes and cool skin. So you have to just kind of go with what works for you. And like I said, a lot of times it's just personal perspective. I mean, Kim thinks she doesn't look good in red. I think she looks great in red. Thank you, Doreen. So, Doreen says she likes the red, too. Yeah, and Sharon did, too. The red is great on you. And Ginger, I'm glad you box. finally made it to join us. So welcome. She says, she, I guess she's had a hard time making it on our live broad, broadcast, podcast. It's not really a pod. I don't, this is a... I don't know. I almost said a vlog. That's not a vlog. Either. I don't know. I'm okay, not Peggy. Peggy, um, Peggy says <laughs> we have a wig addict. Okay, that's one thing we explain to people. For us, wigs are like shoes and purses, and they go with certain outfits. Um, and it's really easy to get addicted to them because now mm -hmm. it just opens up a whole new world. Um, and once you start wearing wigs, it's really hard to stop. Okay, so South Africa is here. Florida is here. Illinois. Michigan. Um, one thing that um, Deborah is just pointing out, and this is very, very important. I'm glad she said it. She's like, on my TV, YouTube, the red is real bright red, but on her laptop, it's toned way down. So a lot of it, especially if you're doing a lot of internet looking and watching videos, you have to keep in mind, this color is going to always look different in the different lighting. Even in here, when someone comes in to try we have fluorescent lighting, so we always send people to the front of the store, even outside, to get the more natural light because it always looks a little different in the different lighting. So. And Emma, I'm glad you made it to Simma's first time. So, welcome to us. Kim says she's completely bald, and wigs are great accessories. I love when people think about wigs like that because it's like jewelry, your rings, your your you know everything, and so your hair is also an extension of that. It is. I mean, even if you do have hair, think of it as an accessory. People well, are so self-conscious sometimes, and they shouldn't be. No, because the way I see it, we all do things to try to make ourselves look better. I don't see a wig as any different than Spanx, you know? It's just the, you can let, or a push-up bra. Or, you don't go around with your Spanx on the outside. I have, no. have you ever done that? Because <laughs> you're starting to worry me. Those things are so hard to I get know. on. I mean, it's like a workout just to put them on. The last time I wore Spanx was our anniversary party. Yeah. And I 
pretty sure when I pulled them off, I threw them away. Because I'm like, I don't care. I'm just going to have to let it all hang out. Because, my goodness, I need to breathe. There's Yvonne. I talked to you yesterday. Yvonne. Yes, from Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Okay. Oh, yes. Cindy. I think I'm, I don't think I helped her. She said she made the trip from St. Louis in December and she got a sky from Rico. Really? It seems like I remember St. Louis because Christy's also from St. Louis. But we've met the nicest people coming from oh, our town. Oh, we have. And just some of them we haven't even met. We just feel such a connection because we email or you comment and we comment back. So We're like this. Yeah. yeah. We got the UK in the house. Eat. East Tennessee. All right, so. Do you like that in the house? <laughs> trying to be hip. Well, okay, we're too old. We're too old to be hip. I know. I was trying to. Okay, we got some friends at my church, and they're from California. And so he always teases me and calls me bro, and he's a lot younger <laughs> than me. And so he was asking me, because I was said something that was trying to, like, be all hip like that. And he's like, are you from the Bloods or the Crips? So I was trying to make this <laughs> gang sign. It did not go well. I got well, laughed at. I'm sure you did. <laughs> they should have. They should have taken a picture of you, all tangled up. In yeah, because I was like stuff. trying to do. I I don't. I shouldn't do that. What if we like somebody thinks we really are in a gang? Yeah, they the people we're we're fooling everybody. The apple dumpling gang was that a movie? <laughs> yeah, it was. Ireland is here. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's go through. We've got we pulled ten more wigs that we're gonna try on. And we'll just show you different colors from different companies and different styles. Some of these styles we've shown you before. Um, and that way you can just get an idea for each company's reds. First off, Kim just said her husband asked, do you really need more than one wig? Oh. Okay, yes, I always... husband. I'm divorced, so I can, I can say this without <laughs> fear of someone watching me and, and taking away my allowance. <laughs> But, I mean, I always tell, I tell men, like, what about your tools? And what about mm -hmm. your fishing stuff and your guns and all that? So, yes, yeah. you do need as many wigs as you feel you need. You do. <laughs> oh, goodness. All, all right. right. You so. want to switch out? Okay, I have a cool tone. If you're just joining us, I have a cool tone red, Auburn Sugar from Amore. She has a copper tone. So, we'll show you with our different skin tones and eye colors what they look like on opposite. Wow. I even tried to make my eyebrows a little bit more auburny today. I don't know if it worked. So yeah, and I think we both like each other in the more cool tone. Yeah. More. Yeah. But, but I mean, yeah. that's pretty on It's fun. It's fun. Why not? Emma, your husband's raising his eyebrows at your collection. Go look, <laughs> go look in the toolbox. That's right. We all have our things. Yeah. Men, women, I don't care. We all have our things. Yeah, we do. We all have our addictions. I go through phases. I get obsessed with things. We both do. Okay, okay let's switch. All I mean, right. Let's well, let's see change. what's next. All right. Okay, I don't know if any of you watched our um, client consultation we just did with Regina. She's the real sweet girl who's going through chemo. She has breast cancer. Um, she tried this wig on. And this is the Julia in Shaded Peach. It's the John Renault color. It's um, And she would have never um, gone for red. Mm -hmm. She wanted to try it. She wanted to try it. But it never, um, really never occurred to her as being something that she would really actually wear. But this is the 30A27S4. And I'm putting on Scarlet in um, FS27. Scarlet comes in petite and large cap. And it's both of these wigs are by John Renault. Yes, which toolbox? <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. But a lot of people have even commented and, and, and t asked us what she ended up buying. Because she's originally blonde. And she ended up getting a red one because... She just looks so pretty in it, and everybody was, everyone was so encouraging to her, and I appreciate all of yeah, our lovely viewers. Just so y'all know, Misty was off that day, and I got in trouble because I didn't take pictures of her in the wigs that she selected, so, um. You did not get in trouble. People probably think I'm so mean. Yeah, I got in a lot of trouble. I can show I, them the text. Where's my phone? I just said, did you take a picture? No, but there was an eye roll with it. 
I wasn't. I was a text. Oh, was there an eye roll emoji? I'm bad about that. No, I just know you. I know you rolled your eyes and you're like. <laughs> just because you... I want everybody to see. <laughs> well, we'll get a picture. <laughs> anyway, oh. so this is Scarlet. Um, FS27 has a little bit of a highlight to it, um, but mm -hmm. it's a copper base. Um, I'll show you. Yeah, just a little. It's more blended. It's not real chunky, but it's a little bit of a copper. And this, this is an odd color. It's so pretty. It's it's gorgeous in the sunlight. But I have really never figured out, as a hairstylist, what the actual undertone is. I think it kind of has a little bit of both. Yeah, because it's got a dark root. It does have some. It does have some. Uh, warm auburn running through it it's a great blend it's, mm -hmm. now um scarlet is lace front and then machine made from the lace back this is lace front and monofilament top oh and i'll turn around so you can see the link i don't know i think pretty much everybody looks good in julia epic is made by gabor and again that was um dark copper the color i had on it also known as gl3032 um, Linda, Linda asked a question about that. So we're both in John Renault. Yeah. I mean, not too far off, but you can see, I, I love the rooted. I wonder if they make it, they don't make it FS27 rooted. Ooh, that would be pretty. It would be pretty. Okay, it would switch. be kind of comparable to the Copper Glaze R. Um, Unlikely Critic, yes, January does come in Shaded Peach. Um, I don't think we have it or I would show it to you. We don't have it. I looked for it. Uh, it also comes in Brooklyn, and uh, that is one of the wigs that Regina selected is Brooklyn in 3027S4. Okay, how hard is it to cut a bang in a Jolie? <laughs> well, you, you can kinda... watch our video. <laughs> I did it on, actually, a video on Kim. Yeah, it, you got to know what you're doing. It's it's not that easy because Jolie comes pretty flat doesn't have a lace front and it um, comes with a split and so you've got a really it comes with a very very defined straight part and then the hair splits and so you've got to really know how to re-manipulate that um and once like missy's done a few for me and the other girls that, that was work an here have done a few <laughs> so they're really good at it but they know what they're doing so this is the glazed strawberry on me and shady peach on you. Yeah. I like that on you. I like this color better than the other things I've had on. Yeah, I like that, that color to me the best on both of us. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm not too good on the FS27. What's next? Okay, let's see. I'm going to Raquel Welch. I am going to Noriko. Um, Raquel's kind of known for her red line. And, you know, I think we could probably do a whole... Wednesday on just Raquel Reds. Yeah, she does beautiful reds. <clears throat> um, she does a lot of different reds. I'm doing Voltage and Glaze Cinnamon, which is the R3025S+. Plus. And I'm doing Eden, which is one of their new styles for fall, in Raspberry Ice Bar. And Eden is lace front with a mono part. Sorry, I forgot to move the phone. It was loud. <laughs> This is just a machine-made um, wig. You know, Karen, I don't know why they don't offer more um, large cap wigs. Because the thing is, if you've got a small head, we can alter it. They're getting but, better. They're getting a lot better. I mean, and we, we have customers that we stretch the wigs, and there's some tricks that we do um, to get them to fit. But the hardest part is if you have a really large head, is getting... The ear to ear, you know, we can stretch back here, and there's some other things that we can do. But if they make large, we buy it because there is a need. Yeah, I mean, and like you and I, we don't technically have large heads, but we have hair under there. So sometimes if they make a large, we'll get a large just because it's more comfortable. So yeah, my I mean, Cameron, my John Renault, I ordered in a large cap. Mm-hmm. She Something said, is wrong. that ring scared me. I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> I know. I usually try to move the phone. It's, it is loud. So anyway, I have on Voltage. I have on Eden. It's heavy in the front. It is heavy in the front, but oh, we've 
we've sold this to people and it's so cute. It is cute. The way the back has that cute stack. It has such a cute stack and these gorgeous big curls. I love it. Come this way so they can see the other side too. Because it parts this side so the, the longer side is kind of on the opposite. Um, but yeah, it's such a cute wig. It just it and is a lot of hair. I think most of the people you're doing something to redirect out of most people are buying or are they buying it with it well I mean the ones I've got... sold I've sold like that I know okay. Alyssa has um, a client that changed the part and because she likes really full hair right. and she got a Lumina art oh, it was gorgeous it is it's gorgeous absolutely. on her the two my favorite colors in that are Lumina art and the champagne they make that in champagne without that dark really back and it's so cute it's, yeah the contrast is gorgeous so let's yeah. switch all right Lots of people like you in that voltage. Well, Hi, Montana. Have we ever had anybody ooh, from Montana? Ooh, somebody said we're sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh. We did something really fun yesterday. In fact, I didn't get a chance to post the picture. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, granted, most... Oh, I love this wig. I can't help it. Most of our clientele that wig looks way is... On you. Um, it's medical hair loss. I mean, but sometimes we have people that come in for fun. And then sometimes we have men that come in who are in tribute bands. Yeah, and that's and so, so much fun. And when I left my friend yesterday morning, I was like, I have to get to work because I have to do Tom Petty's hair. Which, they're both foreign, so <laughs> they didn't know who Tom Petty was. <laughs> and they're like, oh, really? Are you really doing so? They probably, and I'm like, okay, so they well, didn't know he he's, was dead. He's dead, okay. you know, so. <laughs> but we did a tribute band. I'm going to post that picture today. It's fun. Yeah, we, we uh, Misty cut it, and it turned out great. And he put his sunglasses on and posed with us. So, yeah. And we got an invite to go to the show. We did. And I'm going to put us on the list. Well, guess what I found out? What? That place is sold out. Yeah, that's why you said I got. If you want to go, let me know. I have to put you on the list. I yeah. mean, have we ever been on a list? We've been on list. But I haven't been. On, well, they not that kind they of weren't list. Good, no, they weren't good lists. The naughty list. Yeah. All right. Is, how can I get a list of the most popular cool tones? Which of you is a cool tone? We both wear cool tones. Um. The oh, I don't know that there's a list. Are you? I mean, I don't know if you're talking about what we have on right now because what I have on is cool tone. What you have on is warm tone. I mean, if you'll email me, um, I can tell you, you know, by manufacturer what the cool colors are going to be. If you if you have a particular manufacturer you're wanting to purchase from or a particular wig, I can tell you that. Um, but I don't. We don't have a list of cool tone reds. I, to my knowledge, nobody makes one. Well, because everybody, and this is, we see this every day, everybody has a different idea of color. And so I've literally had warm wigs on that people thought were cool. And I've had my Ash January, which is a 1016, and put it on somebody and they think they see red in it, which there is absolutely no red. So everybody just sees reds differently. Yeah, that's true. So it's that's why it's so important to really get in some good lighting and... Just try things. Yeah. Someone's asking if, about a sneak peek on John Renault. Um, their spring collection usually comes out, I want to say, in April. Last year, um, they did not come out in April. They came out in May because they had some uh, QC issues. And so um, they had to get that kind of straightened out. So I don't know, um, but I'm guessing it's going to be April, and they'll start talking to us about it pretty soon here. Can't wait. Oh yeah, I know. It's always fun to. I love new things. Gosh, and we just got that new. Oh, Kim, turn please. Oh yeah, I don't think I turned in the voltage. See, just a kicky, kicky, kicky style. That's my Mimi <laughs> lingo. I'm sorry. I'm just keep sniffing. Okay. Yes, Kim. Kim mentions that your this Kim on the um, YouTube mentions that your skin tone is really important. Like we talked about when we first came on. Um, Kim is kind of a little bit better than me because she has a nice hazel eye, so she can kind of go warm or cool either one. I'm definitely cool, so any reds that I do, I have to do. Poor cool. Misty, she has these beautiful blue eyes. Do you She's have, just been cursed. <laughs> you have no idea how oh, I it's wish so hard. It's I had. So, <laughs> poor Misty. 
And I'm going to just back into you one day. <laughs> you like sisters. You should have done it before now because I'm sure I deserved it way before now. Oh, yeah. You deserved it a few years ago. But, you know, so did I. So. <laughs> okay. Well, let's just move on. Okay. Fine. We'll take our argument elsewhere. All right. There you go. Aesthetica. I'm doing it a more. <clears throat> is it a more or is it a more? I always I, called it a more, but every time it doesn't I talk have to, an accent I use. Right, and on every it. time I talk to Alicia, she says a more. So I've been trying to be more. I don't think it really matters because we're Texan, and so we can get away with mispronouncing a whole bunch of things. Yeah. But okay, I am going to put on Alden by Aesthetica and R thirty twenty eight twenty six. Doesn't really have a name to go with it. It's just numbers. And I'm doing Cody and Chestnut, which I love Chestnut. I had this in Reese that I had on this the other day. So Alden is a lace front mono top, full mono top, so you can change the part if you like. So this is definitely long. Kind of more strawberry-ish. Yeah. Strawberry. A little bit darker than strawberry blonde. I don't really know how to describe that. It's kind of reminiscent of the FS27, but a little bit more coppery. Yeah, lighter. Lighter yeah. than the FS27. And always on your copper tones, the under, well, anything like this is going to have a lot of gold. So when you're looking at wig colors, see, this is just a mid-length with some wave. When you're looking at wig colors and you're wanting something warm undertone, then kind of look for things described as um, gold mm -hmm. or or copper, obviously. And then, um, especially in like Noriko's and Renee Paris, if you're looking for more cool, go for more auburns and raspberry things. Just when you look at it. I mean, yeah. when you think of fire, you think of orangey tones. When you think of... Berries, you think more of cooler things. Or like so. auburn sugar. Or what, and that's chestnut? Chestnut, yes. It is, I mean, it's... Chestnut's a violet. It is violet, but it's got a little bit of copper highlight to it. It's not... It's and of a course, pretty color. It's, it's real shiny. So, I mean, we always get a comment, you know, for someone who doesn't look... But they're shiny because they're brand new, and we have these super bright lights. Thank you, Lisa. So. Cody does not come in large cap. Um, none of the Amore styles come in large cap. Um, Noriko didn't make any large caps to what, uh, one or two years two ago? Years ago. Um, and they, they don't make that many styles. And because their average caps are kind of small, their large caps aren't real large. And they're doing, only doing Reese and Sky and Angelica? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think so. But, I mean, they oh, are bigger. Yeah, they are bigger, but it's still. Not real big. Uh, Sandra's asking if these wigs have permatees, which we started out by really saying which e what each one was, but I have to stop. Um, this has a mono top, so it's hand tied in this part, and then the rest of it's machine made, um, which is going to have the permatees machine made. This is the Cody's no lace front, but it's a full mono top. Yeah, and it's the double mono, so it has that. Um, if you're ever wondering if you see something and it says double mono, single mono, that's what that is. So I, you know, I I always wear blonde, um, and it's blondes are super super shiny. These reds are appearing pretty shiny under these lights. And um, Joyce is asking how we tone that down. Dry shampoo. We just spray a bunch of dry shampoo and it brush it through, and it really tones down that shine. And I do that on every wig that I wear every time. I do too. That's With the, the first exception thing I do. of heat defiant because the heat defiant ones aren't that shiny to begin with. So my Diana says she should have Mimi on with us sometime. <laughs> we might have to wrangle her in. I that. know. I don't know if I can make that work or not. I don't know why you couldn't. Oh, you know. Alden. She's busy. I've never had long hair. And the more, it's like when we first started doing these and we would try them on the long ones, I'm like, oh, I hate long hair. But the more I put them on, the more I'm like, I want long hair. Well, we talked about getting long hair. What was the one we were going to get? The Angela and the new oh, um, yeah. Alexander collection. We, after we decided we were both going to get that wig. And we we both liked it. it. All right. Yeah, Misty does look awesome in the Alden. Oh, thank you. I don't know if I would do this color, but the wig's pretty. I don't know why I forget about this wig. 
Yeah, it's it's pretty. It lays nice. And it's not a lot of volume up yeah, here. Yeah, and aesthetic is so comfortable. Yeah, it is. Caps are great. Okay, What's next? moving right along. Let's see. I am going to put on <coughs> On Your Game by Raquel Welch. And this is in Fiery Copper, which is R3129. This is a heat-defiant fiber, so you'll notice immediately that it's not as shiny um, as the others. This is a lace front with a mono part. I'm doing another Aesthetica, which this is the Emma and the R32F. So this is kind of a dark, dark um, auburn color. Yeah, but it's pretty. It's got good color dimensions, so it's got some light pieces, some dark pieces. Yes, um, I'm sorry if I say your name wrong. Volley, Valley, she's saying that your um, makeup colors make a difference, too. Yes, they do, which I realized when I did my makeup, I do always cool colors. And so when I did it, I'm like, I need to add some warmth because it just didn't look right. Yeah, this is a 32F, so dark, almost like a ginger brown. Yeah, it is. So, but this this is the wig that we always sell for people who want that bob that don't want any mm -hmm. volume. The only volume that's up there is because my hair. I've got a bun right there. Yeah. Oh, I like this question. Why is it that everything looks Kim? great on Misty? Sorry, I just need to see if I need to get that. Dark auburn color. Yeah, that dark auburn color is beautiful. All right, she's going to answer the phone. Um, all right, so this is on your game. And it's just short. Got a kind of stack, tight neckline. And then these, this part's longer, so you can kind of make it. Is it asymmetrical? Oh, I thought we... And, um, I can't remember. This is the one that we did when we did the review out there. I don't know why I was thinking it was that new one that had the curl. No. Um, we sold out of those, and they're back ordered. Oh, of course they are. Yeah. All the new stuff that everybody's put out has back ordered because it's it's all been pretty good. Yeah. Sometimes we get things, and they're like, okay, we're having a sale. Get rid of this. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I'll show you Emma. And it may be bumpy because of my bun. Emma's a cute angled bob. It's got a little bit of layering here to give you that stack, but it is a super cute wig it is and so i just i like the bangs i never do bangs i like that wig on you it's not it's not messy enough for you you won't no. wear it but it's, but you know it's got movement i like the movement yeah so hi barbara barbara just joined us i think since i've had my allergy issues my accent's getting worse <laughs> i sound like a hillbilly no offense to any hillbillies <laughs> Miss C lives in the country. So. I grew up in the country. She means. I went to Walmart um, Sunday morning before church, and there's a man that works there. And, um, he always talks to me, and I said something, and he said, where are you from? And I said, oh, I'm from here. He said, you sound like you're from way out there. And I don't know where that <laughs> meant, but I'm like, well, I think that kind of I am. Not from here. <laughs> Uh, Natasha says the Spice Pumpkin from Raquel. That's that new color. Um, I think we it, sold out of that, too. Yeah, it's kind of a muted mm -hmm. red. It it's, is. It's almost like the shaded peach from John Renault lighter. It's not as, yeah, it's a, which is, for Raquel, is a very different because all of her reds are fairly vibrant. Um, but that one is not. Did you just say that Emma is a full mono top, no lace? No, I didn't say it. Okay, it's a full mono top, no lace, machine made cap in the back. So I got distracted with the phone because <laughs> I know somebody's going to complain. Scruffy Scrubs, first time, newbie here. Welcome. All right, we're on. We've got our last wig. We're going fast today. I don't know. It seems like we're going slow. Oh, it's been thirty minutes. Yeah. Okay. On your game. Thank you, Joyce. Yes. Okay. What are we going to end with? I'm ending with Sky. And who was it that said that they just got a Sky? She's from um, St. Louis. From St. Louis. And I'm doing a color that 
I don't, I know we've never talked about this color on any of our videos. No. This is, it doesn't come in very much. It's a color that's been around a really long time. Um, but it doesn't come in a lot of things. And it's a Terracotta H, which is a very coppery, um, color with a root. And I'm going to put on Bennett from Tonya Beverly in, um, a color called Cinnamon. It's, it's kind of a brown red, um, but it's a beautiful color, so we're going to show it. Oh, look who's here. Shelly from Idaho. I, Shelly, I'm going to be posting her picture soon, so y'all keep a lookout. Oh, that's Shelly? She, uh -huh. she Shelley? Um, is a really, really sweet heart that I met um, from our videos, and she ordered a wig from us that um, we customized for her. She got the Petite Mariska. Mm -hmm. And um, I just had mailed it back to her, and she sent me her picture, and she just looked so pretty. She I was like, can beautiful. you please just give me the permission to post this, because, <laughs> like, you look so good. Well, and she just, you can see the confidence in her face. She knows it looks great, and she just looks absolutely beautiful. Yes, Shelly, mm -hmm. thank you. I love what you said. You said that your your wig fear is over, and so she's already looking for something longer, so I'm on the lookout. But anyway. All right, I got something to say. What? Well, well um, Kim says, Misty, you're going to lose your wig grip. <laughs> <laughs> so we finish up last week and we look all over the floor. We look in our clothes and, you know, trying to figure out, did it get stuck? What happened to it? And so we go around in a corner to Misty's station and her whip, wig grip is laying on the station. And so Misty looks at Christy and goes, did you pick that up? And she goes, no, no, I mean, I didn't, it wasn't on the floor. I, I, I didn't do anything. I was like, somebody had and to pick Missy's it up. And Missy's like, somebody had to pick it up. Well, Missy went back and watched the whole video. She never had a wig grip on. And I forgot I, to put it on. <laughs> Y'all have no idea. because. So for all of you that were concerned, you ought to be more concerned about her mental state. <laughs> yeah, it's Whether she truth. lost her wig grip. Because I say it at least once a week. If it gets worse as I get older, everyone's in trouble. Because I can't remember what I did five minutes ago. Yeah, I'm but, like way older than you, too. But I don't forget things that are important to me. Oh, okay. Like uh, when who, who's having the next sale, you know, <laughs> and um, who carries the brand of shoes I like, <laughs> and what day Ross gets their shipments in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the things that are real important. But, like, you know, what I did with my wig grip and whether I had it on or not. Is, anyway. It's not important. So there were so many people that had written, made comments that day about was she sitting on it? Was it attached to her shirt or whatever? Somebody even said, "I think I saw it." <laughs> I think I saw it fall. <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, you're right." I mean, I'm glad I'm not crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, oh. but they're asking, "What are you wearing now?" I'm wearing Sky, which we did a whole video devoted to Sky mm -hmm. as a Throwback Thursday because it's been around so long and it is so cute. It just works. And Sky comes in. A t I want to say like 53 colors comes in a ton of different colors so there's just a, a whole lot of options the style works on so many different people um, it does and it's all machine made so it gives a lot of volume so if you you know like a lot of hair it can be great if you don't like a lot of hair sometimes it works too but you never want to this is one of those you don't want to yeah you don't want to make a helmet out of but yeah it's super cute all right so this is Bennett Bennett is long um, again, this is um, cinnamon. It's the color. Then it is 100% fully hand tied, so it's got all the bells and whistles. Super comfy. It's got that cap that kind of hugs your head. Uh, but it also, when you go fully hand tied, it starts compressing, so it looks like a lot less hair, and it looks really, really natural. Yeah, um, and it's does. it's not gonna most of the fully hand tied. They don't have a lot of hair, so for people that are looking for something that we get asked all the time, do they make thin wigs? Well, they don't make thin wigs. Some have more than others, but fully hand tied is going to compress your head and it's going to really um, minimize um, the volume. So yeah, I mean, a lot of people have an issue when they wear a wig for the first time because of the amount of hair and because they're used to their thin. And I'm like, you can't make a thin wig. I mean, that's the reason you're getting a wig and um, you want to make sure you're not seeing the cap. So yes, some wigs you can probably get thinner. That are quite a bit cheaper, but you're gonna be able to see the cap in your head underneath. We oh do have goodness. Reese, not a Reese today, but Reese is her favorite wig of all time. So Reese is Reese like is, a longer version of Sky. Yeah, it's like Sky kind of gray on the sides. 
And what I usually and what tell you say people, this was Bennett, Bennett. Bennett and Cinnamon. What I usually tell people that are going through that and they're trying to deal with the volume because it's more than what they had, I usually tell people it takes an adjustment and it's it's about 10 days and you'll walk through your house one day and you won't have your wig on and you'll pass by a mirror and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I gotta have my hair back. So you just make the shift. Um, the you other do. thing that we tell people all the time is you're never going to fool yourself. Um, you're going to look in the mirror. When we look in the mirror and we wear wigs a lot, I still see a wig. Nobody, other, other people don't see that. So um, be sure when you're starting to wear wigs to get family opinions and people that are important to you get their opinion that they'll tell you the truth um, and you'll wear it more confidently and that way you'll know you're just seeing something different like this cow like, um, <laughs> than what everybody else is and that's that's really important Bobby asked again what color that was that's terracotta H again they don't make it in a whole lot of different things but that's what we're going to do is show the burnt sienna well Alyssa sold it yesterday we have another one what do we have it in? I mean, I'll be back. Okay, we're going to show you burnt sienna. Um, so wigs are really made for um, people that don't have hair. Somebody is asking, how do you keep it on a bald head? So typically, if you have absolutely no hair, wigs will fit better, feel better, and stay on better. If you have any hair, even if it's just a little, that gives the wig a slick surface to slide around on, and that's when you need a wig grip. Um, some of our customers that do lose all their hair or they have alopecia and they have absolutely no hair, they wear the wig grip just for an added sense of, sense of security and that's your option. And uh, what we're talking about when we say wig grip is the Milano wig grip. Um, they make the best wig grip on the market and it's M-I-L-A-N-O. So I, this reminded me of Terracotta Age when they mm -hmm. put it out. So I've never seen them side by side, just a little bit more vibrant. But it does have the roots. So maybe in the things that are not making terracotta, they'll start making in this color. Yeah, turn around and show the back of that because okay. they do a dark base that's going to match that root with this. Um, so it's a it's a gorgeous color. This is Ivy from Noriko. Yes. So, so they don't make that color, but in a few things. And they only make this color in a few things. I so maybe between the two, it kind of covers. <laughs> I don't know what else comes out in this color. I think Claire... Claire, I, think. I, I almost think Reese. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Look like Friar Tuck. <laughs> I don't know. What, Who's it that? Karen. <laughs> Joyce, you're so funny. <laughs> Joyce says, don't wear that out. You'll get a tack out because you know what happens with that. Look how blue her but eyes we don't, are. But we don't her, know. Her curse. <laughs> I didn't say it was a curse. <laughs> I just said if I had your color eyes, I could wear cool or warm. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. All right. I think we're done. Are we done? Is there anything else we need to go over? Keep yes. The ideas. Yes. Oh, well, yes. We do. We do. Okay. We do. Go ahead. We have been so blessed. You guys are great. We have been... Um, you know what? I, there we, we have been um, growing our YouTube channel for the last year, and we're about to hit a milestone. We're about to hit 10,000. Probably by next week. So when that happens, watch. If you haven't already gone to our Facebook page, someone asked if our Facebook page was private. It is not private. Um, but anytime we – this is a side note. We post a picture or something. We'll only use your first name. We'll never tag you. So, um, And we'll get your permission. But no, you have to go to our Facebook page, like our page, share our page, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram. So we're going to hit you guys with um, a giveaway. Right. Um, and it'll be next week, probably as soon as we get close to 10,000. Yeah. So be watching for that and get ready to participate. Right. And so um, Yvonne says she doesn't do Facebook. That's fine. You got us on YouTube. So we'll put it in the YouTube community section. Or if you do Instagram or Twitter. Um, which we really haven't figured Twitter out. I don't understand the tweeting thing. I don't either. Um, I really don't understand Instagram either, but um, we're getting there. But we're working on it. It's just one thing at a time. So, all right. So, um, 10,000. It's so exciting. I know. It is exciting. Because we never thought. Look, Janie Lamb's on. We haven't seen you in a long time, ma'am. Janie Lamb. Yeah. I think she's got Sky. I think she's got everything. She's got, yeah. She's got... A whole bunch of skies. And mm -hmm. she looks gorgeous. Then. 
Hey, Patrick. Thanks. Patrick's our neighbor next door. He's the full store. So yeah. He always, he's a good he's a good guy. He's a good egg. All right. All right. Um, so we will see you guys next week back here. Yes. Um, Missy's got some stuff that she's going to post um, that you might find interesting. Check out Tom Petty. And uh, <laughs> for those of you that live here, we're going to tag the um, Gas Monkey Bar and Grill where they're going to be performing. So if you want to go see them, uh, you can. I got my hair right here. But you got to be on the list, remember? Well. I, I want to yeah. go just so I can say I'm on the list. They have a, there's a section you can go to, um, and it's free, but it's standing room only. Could someone put me on their list? Just say you're on my uh, list. Yeah, you're on my list. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. I hope everybody has a great week. And Bye. we'll see you soon. Bye.